हे गाइस वेलकम टू आर चैनल कोड इज आकेट सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन रोबोट फ्रेमवर्क विच इज हैंडलिंग लिस्ट बॉक्सेस यूजिंग रोबोट फ्रेमवर्क इन एनी वेबसाइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू विच वेबसाइट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस वेबसाइट प्रैक्टिस सलिनियम डॉट कॉम स्लैश प्रैक्टिस फॉर्म डॉट एच डी एम एल सो ही आर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस लिस्ट बॉक्स सो इफ यू आर कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन द ड्रॉप डाउन बॉक्स एंड द लिस्ट बॉक्स सो द डिफरेंस इज In drop down box you can select only one value so if i select north america then it will select only north america but here in this list box we can select multiple number of items in one list box only so here i have selected all the items in this list box so this is the difference so here we are going to learn how to select multiple items in a list box so let's begin by going into my pycharm and here i am going to create a new robot file let's name as list box dot robot and then if i press enter this will create a new workspace for my program here i am going to start by creating the four sections here so first what are the sections the first one is the sec setting sections then the second one is the variable section then third one is the test cases section and the fifth fourth one is the keyword section so first in setting section we go are going to import our library so here i am going to write library and then we are going to specify the library name so selenium library and then i am going to create two variables for my url and my browser so first our url will be i am going to copy the url here and then i am going to create another variable which is for browser and here i am going to specify my browser name so chrome is my browser name then in our test cases i am going to start writing our test case so first i am going to declare the name of our test case let's say list box this will be our name of our test case so i'm going to press enter and then inside our indentation of our name list box i am going to write my commands so first command will be open browser for opening the browser and then i am going to specify here my url and then i am going to give my second variable which is for browser and then after this i am going to maximize my browser window then i am going to create a section for selecting items from list box and here inside this section i am going to give my command so in my last video i showed you about the drop boxes so same command is used for the list box as well so the command will be select from list by label and select from list by index so first i am going to you select from list by label here i am going to go to my website and here i am going to inspect this list box so here this is our list box here and these are the contents of our list box so first we need the name of our list box so name of our list box is selenium command so i am going to copy the name here and we copied the name here and then i am going to specify what i want to select so after that i will select any one of the item so let's say i want to select this navigation command which is the second option so i am going to copy the label so label here is the navigation command so i'm going to copy this and then i will just paste it here navigation command so what this will do is it will select the list box from this particular list box selenium commands and here it is going to select navigation commands and then after that it will wait for let's say around 3 seconds and then i'm going to select the second item from the same list box so here i'm going to use index this time so inside our select from list by index command i'm going to give the name of our list box so the name of our list box is selenium command so i'm going to paste the same name here and then i'm going to give the index so what is the index here so i as i told you in my last video index always starts from 0 so this is the 0 browser command 0 1 2 3 and then 4 so if i give let's say if i want to select web element commands i need to give number 4 as an index so let's say i give 4 here and then i am going to wait for again let's say 5 seconds 
and then I am going to close my browser here. So what this will do is it will open the browser go to this particular URL and this will be open in Chrome then it will maximize the browser window then here in this section I have selected the list box by this command select from list by label this same command is used for drop down box as well here I have specified the name of my list box and then I have specified the label because we are using the label keyword that is why I am going to give the label of the item that we are going to select label is nothing but the name of that item so and then I have given the next command as select from list by index index here is the number which number as I said index always starts from 0 so this is 0 1 2 3 and this is 4 so I have given 4 which will select web element commands so if I go back I have given number 4 and then I have told robot to wait for 5 seconds and then I have closed my browser. So if I run this by going into my terminal and here to run this I am going to first call my robot function. So robot then after writing robot I am going to give one space and then I am going to specify my directory name. So automation is my directory name then one slash and then I am going to specify the name of my robot file. So list box is my name of the robot file and if I write dot robot this will be the extension for a name and then if I press enter this will start running and after loading it will maximize the browser window once it is loaded so it is loaded here it selected navigation command then after three seconds it will select web element command so it selected web element command and then it closed the browser so let us select one more element from the list box let's say we want to select switch command as well so what is the index for this 0 1 and 2 so I am going to use again my index command so which is select from list by index here I am going to specify the name of our list box and then I am going to specify the number which is the index of the item so here 2 is the index for the item switch commands so I am going to give sleep timer for 5 this time and I will change this sleep timer to 3 in my last command here if I run this code again so this will open the browser after loading it will maximize the browser window and here it will select navigation command after that it will select web element and then it, this will select switch command so it selected navigation command then it selected web element commands and then it selected switch commands and then after that it closed the browser after 5 seconds so as you can see our test is passed and it created output log in the report file so if I go to my project panel and I right click onto my log file and if I open my log file into my chrome browser you can see our test is passed so every keyword that we used is passed or the every command we used is passed if I go to my report file our test is passed so this is how you can handle the list boxes using robot framework in PyCharm. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also like share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.